Welcome to Rapid Football News. Today I'm going to talk about the England squad. So Gareth Southgate has picked the squad that's going to take uh, take on Italy and Germany in the Nations League. Now we've had a really bad time in the Nations League lately. It's not been good at all, and we're currently currently in a pretty damn bad, dire situation at the moment and risk getting relegated from the uh, from the group that we're in. So this was really going to be an important. Um, selection for Gal Southgate, not just because of the Nations League, but also because of the World Cup that's coming up. So, you know, he wants, to, I would think he want to bring in players who he thinks they're going to do the business for him and who he's perhaps thinking ahead and saying, well, if these players do well, they're going to be included in the football, in the World Cup. But I, I've got, there's a couple of players in there which really baffled me. And, and so I thought, well, I'm talk about this, and then you guys can leave your comments about whether you agree with me or not on which players you thought you think shouldn't be in the squad, and which players you think deserve to have a chance in the squad. Um, <clears throat> so Conor Gallagher is one of those that hasn't hasn't made the squad, but that's understandable because he's playing, you know, for Chelsea, uh, not because he's playing for Chelsea, but because you know he hasn't really played that well for Chelsea at the beginning of the season, and I think that he uh, he needs to get regular football if he's going to start. Um, making the making the grade for the World Cup, if he does now, I mean it might be too late for him. Um, got players like Mark Gay here who are in the squad. I think they're really good. You got um, got Mick Pope who's fantastic. I think he's done really well as well. So you've got great players like that in there. You got Jack Grealish who is okay. I mean he hasn't really lit the lit the world on fire, but you know I, th I think there's a potential there that he can do okay. So that's fair enough. But. Harry Maguire, Harry Maguire, why Why did he put Harry Maguire into the squad? I know that he kind of plays a bit better for England than he does for Manchester United in certain situations, but I just think he's not, he's not had the games, he's, um, you know, his confidence is going to be low because he hasn't been playing very much, his fitness isn't going to be there because he hasn't been playing very much, I, so I really don't understand why, they, why he's picked Harry Maguire. I think personally he should be left out, but obviously you guys let me know if you agree with that or not. I just think that you know, <clears throat> there are so many players out there who are who need to have a, a go in the squad. You know, deserve to have a go in the squad. I mean, you know, I I've made very, you know bones of the fact that I'm a Palace supporter. I would have said Tarek Mitchell to go in there, but I know Tarek Mitchell hasn't had the best start of the season either. So so you know that's fair enough. He hasn't had the best start of the season. I can understand why he hasn't been picked. But you know, I would say he's had a better season than Harry Maguire has, who hasn't played much at all. And when he has played, he hasn't been that good. So it would suggest to me that um, that you would take him out and put somebody else in who's playing better. You know, there, there's some great choices in there. Obviously, you've got to be, you know, he's, he's got to be available. He's, he's got to have lots of players available to encompass any situation. And generally speaking, they're okay. But there, were, there are players missing from there that I think he should have put in. Um, I don't see any reason why, you know, why he's picked certain players. I mean, you know... He, Jack Grayish, as I said before, he's he's okay, but he's not, you know, he's okay in an English shirt perhaps, and he he plays he plays okay in an English shirt, but I I just don't think he's got the, the you know he's he's not <coughs> recreated the stuff that he's done for Aston Villa. For me, he hasn't done that enough, but you know that's my opinion. You might disagree. So, this is a bit of a it's a bit of a weird pick for me, Gareth Southgate. I hope it works out. I hope that we win these last two games in the Nations League before we go to the World Cup. But will he learn? Will, what will he learn from this? I don't understand what he will learn by having certain players who haven't quite made the grade this season. Why you would have them in the squad and not others who I think he should put in, even if they haven't played before for England, just to see what they're like. You know, I I, I don't see the uh, the logic in it myself. But I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And as always. Do subscribe for more football news, reviews and views.